Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be preparing for a package trade. This package trade is a private package trade with my friends. So I'm just going to be, we're just trading hamster packages for Christmas. And yeah, that's what we're doing. So basically we decided, well, I did to do a little package trade and our price range was 20 to $25 and we could basically get whatever we wanted based on what we personally were looking for. So I wanted hides, no treats, toys, and accessories, while both of them wanted treats, toys, and hides. So for the material, I also made it so that they could choose that. So if we wanted wood or ceramic for the toys and hides, so I wanted wood and ceramic, one of us wanted just wood, and another one of us also wanted wood and ceramic. So based on that stuff, we could make a little package that would fit what we wanted for our hamster. So in today's video, I am going to be wrapping the packages and doing a mini haul of what I got for them. Now the hamsters I'm going to be giving these packages to are Chester, the long-haired orange male Syrian hamster, and Buttercup, forgot his color, but he is a tri-colored Syrian hamster and he's a short hair and also a male. Now I got four gifts in total for each of these little hamsters and I'm going to be doing a little haul right now of everything that I got them each. So firstly, I'm going to be starting with the wrapping paper. I am using two wrapping papers and I might alternate them as I go on because I'm gonna be wrapping each thing individually because I did not have a box for everything for each hamster. But right here we have Merry Christmas. Uh, this is really cute. It is kind of shiny and it's as you can see, it's like shiny and red. And yeah, just says Merry Christmas. Then over here we have this pretty one which I have as the background for Timmy's cage. And it is white. It has these cute little wreaths on this pattern and it says joy. It has like little cardinals and stuff. And I chose these because this one is like really like Christmassy. It's like red, green, Merry Christmas, shiny. Well, this one is just really pretty. So these are the wrapping papers that I am going to be using. Now, the next thing we have is in a big PetSmart bag. Now, not all these things are from PetSmart, but it would just be a nice way to store them all. So, Actually, only one of these things is from PetSmart, and that's it. The rest are all just from any other place like Amazon, Chewy.com, things like that. So to make this less noisy, I am going to be just picking them out and not have it on my lap. So first of all, something super cute that I thought I would include and is kind of Christmassy. This is like really crinkly, so I'm sorry about the noise, but it is All Living Things Pinecone Shoes. Now, these are really cute because in fall and winter, the leaves of the trees kind of like shed and the pine cones go down with the pine needles as well. So I thought that this would be really cute because it's kind of nature-y. And yeah, we just have these cute little pinecone shoes. Next, we have some treats. So for the treats, I have one for Chester and one for Buttercup, the two hamsters. This one is for Buttercup. These are natural, one ingredient, they are freeze-dried fruit, and this is peach, and it's very, very fresh. And then over here we have Fuji apple, once again, one ingredient, and also very delicious. So I chose these because this is kind of like peach cobbler, and then this is also kind of like apple pie. And you could eat those things, generally more apple pie, but both could be eaten during Christmas and Thanksgiving and the holidays, that sort of thing. So these are really cute. And I'm hoping that they will like them because I know that my hamster Timmy loves fruit. He does not like vegetables. So I'm hoping that they will like this as much as Timmy does. Now we are moving on to the main sort of toys. I got Chester, this really cute Oxbow Enriched Life twisty rings. So these are like really cute. They kind of look like Christmas garland, like the kind of garland where it's like you make those little paper rings and you alternate them. 
and they're also very colorful, which is perfect for Christmas. So I got these for Chester. I got this really cute, what, what is this called? Wood disc dangler. This is also from Oxbow and I could only find this on Chewy.com. It was nowhere to be found on Amazon, PetSmart, Petco, all those places. So got really lucky finding this one. I got it cause she said that she specifically wanted wood items and this is wooden and also the shape makes it look like a Christmas tree. It's like big, then goes to small. It also looks like it would be a lot of fun cause the wood isn't like very bulky. It's like really light. So I thought that her hamster buttercup would like this a lot. So this is what I got him. The next thing I did was I made a little note called a little note of everything that you received just so that they want to learn more about what they got. Like those pine cones, I'm going to be wrapping individually so they're not going to have the packaging. And if they were curious, they could see what brand it was and all of that. So it just has every single little gift that I got them on this paper that they can learn more about. And if they like it, they can buy it again and know what it's called. Along with those tiny little gifts, I thought that I would get them each something big for their little hamsters. So, long story short, I got two multi-chamber hides from my angel. And the reason I got the same gift for both of them is I thought that it wouldn't be fair to give one of them a really cool multi-chamber hide and not give the other one a really cool multi-chamber hide. So, they're like really heavy. They're really good quality. And I got the two chamber Syrian sized birch. So it's basically the exact same multi-chamber hide as the one that I have for Timmy, but instead of being dwarf sized, it is Syrian sized. There was also a sticker up here that said what it was and I didn't want them to know what it was until they opened it. So I peeled that off. <laughs> And also they are like the perfect box for wrapping. Like they're so nice and square and flat and oh, uh, I love it. With all that said, we are going to go ahead and move over there to the coffee table so I can start wrapping these gifts for some wonderful little hamsters. <laughs> 